Hey there everybody, welcome to today's video. As you can see, we're still here in the saddle, cutting off some beans here, kind of by the home place. Got about 70 acres to do here today, so we'll be pretty busy for a good portion of the day. So uh, make sure you stay tuned, because this should be a good video. And uh, yeah, let's get to cutting. So like I said previously, we're here kind of by the home place. These beans are doing pretty good. They're making about 60 and they're about nine moisture. So they're perfect. These are uh, replant. This this is all replant around here. These are all replanted beans after the hail storm. So I think that really definitely, that really uh, helped and kicked in a little bit. And uh, that's why they're doing so good. So uh, yeah. Also another thing, I think I've previ previously said this, I'm excited to start cutting beans because I can use auto steer, which means I can record, but I think some people mistake this job to be way too easy, but uh, on this McDonald Draper here, you have got to always be messing with the reels, uh, with the height of the beans, and make sure you're always keeping them beans moving because sometimes the beans will like to stop and build up a big pile there and then they'll suddenly move and just go jolting into the throat of the combine and the if it does make it past the auger of the mcdon down there it makes a really bad rumbling noise i don't think the combine appreciates that too much and then sometimes uh it just stops the auger down there and makes a grinding noise and spins the clutch and everything and it's just not good so while i'm getting to use auto steer i have to really pay close attention to that so yeah um that's about my only pet peeve with this head is that you have got to always have the reels down which means you're popping quite a few beans all the time but I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to keep the beans moving. I also wasn't speaking from experience there. I've just heard stories about it. Also, we're here cutting about a solid five and a half miles an hour, five three. And uh, we, I've changed the settings up just a little bit. So we're getting some cleaner beans because in the past videos and yesterday when we cut, I looked back there and it was pretty horrendous I was not thrilled with the sight of the grain bin as this front window is pure pod so I made a few tweaks on the combine and we're cleaning just a little bit better so I think I'm just gonna leave it where it is but it's also kind of early this morning so maybe later in the afternoon I'll have to open it up again so all the beans can digest better I'm not gonna lie to you when I say this, but ever since the first field that we cut in the last video, ever every field that we've done since then has done 35 plus. So I guess I just got a little too discouraged by that first field. Kind of like the corn when all the years were on the ground in that uh, first day of harvest video. I guess I just got a little too discouraged by that too because all the corn was going 100, 150 to 200 then after that everywhere else. So yeah, uh, I'm actually pretty surprised because some of these beans don't look where the crap but they're still yielding 40s. So yeah. Also way over there is the field that uh, we walked through the beans a little bit after we got done, or after I got done complaining about the corn that was on the ground. So we'll see how that turns out up there because I'm really uh, looking forward to that field over there because those beans look really good. And those beans are planted after we chopped rice. So we'll have to see what they do. All right, I just finished this little triangle up here. So now we're gonna head down here and uh, we got some nice longer going here and I'm gonna have to dump on the grain carters right there, that little dot there. So uh, I'm gonna be needing that thing here pretty quick cause 
these beans down here are way better than what they were right up here, so, yep. Well, now that's almost full. I could probably throw a few more bushels on there, but I'm empty, so we better get to cutting again. Okay, well, Dad just slept in the grain cart, so I guess it was full enough. So, we have no grain cart now. I am still very sick, so if you ever catch me hacking a wong up, don't judge. I don't know if you guys can see way out there, but I just kicked up a doe. She was just laying here in the middle of the bean field. And she just about got ran over by the end of the head. Like, that thing was like right on top of her. And she took off. But, uh, pretty lucky girl to be alive right now. That would not have been fun to pull that out of the combine. I don't know if you guys can see right down there by that creek, but my dad and my uncle are fixing a crossing that we used to have there a long time ago. Because we got a field on the other side of them trees there that we're going to go cut right after this one. So they're just doing some construction on that so we can cross there without going all the way around on the road and stuff. Plus we'd have to go through the uh, pasture with all the heifers in it to get in there if we had to go the long way. So they're trying really hard to get that going right now. Well, looks like it's that time again. Loading on the go here, dumping in a dad. We're coming up on being done with this field, and we'll be on that smaller field across the creek here in just a little bit. Just finished that. All right, guys, I just finished this field here, and now we're gonna go across the sketchy crossing right over there. My uncle made it about 10 foot wide, and these are 750 duels. So, I don't know how well this is going to go. I think the header's going to hit a tree before we can even get across. I'm not sure. But, uh, this could be life or death. Um, this really don't look too promising. So, if I don't record ever again, you know what happened to me. Alright, this won't be near as bad as I thought. I didn't know he put dirt right there for the duels because otherwise we'd hit that post right there so we should be all right but i'm not 100 percent sure because as dry as it as dry as it is right now there's nothing really to stabilize the dirt along a creek so i guess the dirt could do whatever it wants to because there's absolutely no moisture in the ground so we'll see how this goes update we made it across now I'm going to attempt to cut along a fence one handed and I drilled all this so I'm like I drilled everything like a foot away from this fence so hopefully we don't have to pull any fence posts out of this head but uh, crap happens sometimes you know so uh, these beans are doing pretty good too so let's get to it I am full and dad is on his way over right way over there all right i just smacked the third pass around there and uh now i'm gonna go over here on this longer going and snap a straight track line and we'll cut this off real fast this thing's cleaning pretty good today but uh it's a john deere so it's always doing good it always gets a crop and then some so yeah uh let's get to it also another thing about these fields that got double drilled after the hailstorm, they're gonna cut off like nicer they're gonna look uh better whenever you get done cutting the beans off of them because the air drill got to smash that many more corn stalks down and whenever a field has only been drilled once all the old corn stalks from the previous corn crop are there and those can uh knock over bean plants like whenever the head hits them and that can make it look like the head leaves a string bean here and there but here in these double plants this mcdonald is just doing an outstanding job and uh this field right here is right by the yard so i'm making sure i do a good job so i have to wake up every morning to a hack job all right guys i just finished that little field 51. and yeah, ate some lunch 
and uh, now we're gonna go do this other field and I don't know after that but uh, let's get to it all right here we are now granted these end rows don't look worth the crap and they're making 20 bushel of the acre right now out there farther where we walk the beans looks way better so I'm kind of anxious to see what the, the old monitor says all right guys I don't know what's going on here but the header's starting to push and build a pile and usually when that happens it means you're uh, you got a broken out sickle section so we're gonna hop out here and take a look and I think we do cuz I don't see one down there so we'll get to replace that and you can watch me struggle with that these beans are also doing really good they're going about 60 all right so right here as you can see sickle section sickle section no sickle section so we gotta fix that now and in the meantime i'm gonna hop up in the cab i'm gonna lift up the reels so i can operate good section in there and uh, yeah we're back off and rolling cut this off real quick and that might be the end of the day I don't know for sure we'll see though all right guys it's been a while since I talked to the camera here probably a couple two three hours and well we're done with this farm so now we're getting ready to set the head on the trailer and I think we're going down south, but I'm not 100% sure. If we are, I'll make sure I get some good footage down there because it's a nice, great big bottom, just flat. So that'll be pretty nice. So yeah, uh, I'll catch you here in a bit. All right, guys, we made it down here on this big old bottom here. And uh, we're making the first pass around her here right here these beans ain't doing very good but just a little bit ago they were doing about 50 and uh i foresee this farm making around 50 because this is another one of the farms that usually <coughs> usually puts out a good crop about every year so if this don't make 50 or 45 i'm be really shocked and uh fun fact this farm right here is where i made the first video of the channel so this farm hopefully will forever hold a legacy of the gertis farms channel and uh yeah that's a little fun fact and we're just gonna sit down here and enjoy not having to cut out terraces or worry about anything just enjoy that beautiful nebraska sunset and hopefully some good beans also another thing that I wanted to bring up is if you are just driving your normal vehicle down the road, your Toyota Camry, your Chevy pickup or Chevy Equinox or whatever you drive and you come across a large farm piece of farm machinery coming down the road 
down the middle of the road like a combine. Do not try to play chicken because I promise you you won't win. Just do us both a favor and get over in the ditch and uh, let us get by with our day because uh, we really don't need an accident on our hands with as much with with everything else that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So, plus I don't think you really want to get squished by this thing because that would be a horrible way to die. But uh, yeah, just uh, be careful out there on the roads during this time of year because it gets busy. All right, guys. Well, it's getting kind of towards the evening here. And uh, I think these beans are trying to get a little tough on me because the combine's starting to rumble a little bit more and I'm only doing four miles an hour, especially along them trees there. Um, it's just, and they're starting to not cut off very good. I gotta have the reels really low to keep them moving, otherwise the sickle bar just plugs up with them. So, and I'm three fourths full, so. We might be shutting her down sometime soon here. I, I'm not sure yet. I guess that's not 100% my call. So, yeah. Uh, just thought I'm, I'd inform you on that. Can we just take a minute to admire that beautiful sunset? That Nebraska sunset? Thank you. Alright guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put one more round. <clears throat> around this field and uh, I don't know what we're gonna do after that the, like I said earlier these beans are starting to get tough so I don't know if we're gonna just gonna fill the grain cart or what but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here so uh, with that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, make sure you subscribe like the video and uh, We'll catch you on the next one. And make sure you stay tuned because that corn picking is going to come right around the corner again. Well, actually, we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow night or something. It's going to be like the... If we do get rain, it'll be like the first moisture we've had or seen in like 50 days or something like that. So I wouldn't be complaining because then that'd just be a day off for me where I could get some other stuff done. But if it don't, then I guess I'll keep the hammer down and I'll just make another video or something. But let's see y'all on the next one.